Hey guys, what do you do when there is no snow to plow? Well, of course you plow sand and I'm here at the Coral Pink Sand Dunes in Utah. It's a park where GMC brought me to show off their brand new heavy duty 2500 Sierra. So what do we need on this Denali heavy duty to operate this plow? First, this thing has, as you can see, the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax. It's got a lot of torque. 20% more torque than the old uh, diesel Duramax engine that it replaced. We have the snow plow prep package on this. So to operate all the motors on this, we have the, the bigger generator, 220 amp generator on this, comes with the snow plow prep package. Also, it's got all the wiring harnesses you need to hook everything up on the front of it. It's got skid plates underneath of it to protect transfer case, all the nest, all the the modules and everything that, that snow plows are notorious for getting into with salt and snow. You know what's crazy? I was here a few months ago driving a Discovery through these same sand dunes and doing it on a Polaris, much easier. The suspension travel, the bite the tires get, the way that they fly up and down these sand dunes, it is so much fun. I can't believe that you can take, what, a 6,000 pound vehicle up these dunes and then, for you know what and grins, you can do the same thing in a Polaris. And at the end of the day, the Polaris is a lot more fun. Not only can you plow sand, but you can also rip through it here at the dunes in a side-by-side -side Polaris. And when you're all done ripping through it, you go find the biggest dune you can, and then you go, that's right, sandboarding. Who would have thunk? There you go, there you go. Yeah! Woo! Right. Ow! Good yeah. thing I had pants on. Otherwise, it'd be snow so far up my you-know-what. <laughs> I mean sand. <laughs> up my you-know-what. You'll get it, you'll get it. It's a lot easier and it doesn't hurt as much falling. And anything else special? Uh, it's got uh, it's got heavy duty torsion bars on this. You know, a plow adds a lot of weight to yeah. the front end. 900 pounds this one weighs. It's an eight foot six inch plow. That's a lot of weight. It is. Is there anything I should be aware of? Um, no, I don't think so. All right, so tell uh, me, how do, how do I drop this uh, blade and how do I do it? Okay, you're gonna hit the lower button right here. Okay, so this one right here, when you yep. lower? Yep. But, it's uh, down? Then you're gonna you're gonna swing the ring, wings back to scoop. Okay, so do scoop. Yep. Now I wanna bias it towards the side too, so you know, so go it's right. tilted. Yep, go right. Perfect. All right, here we go. Up fast. Oh, uh, fast. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there we go. Yep. Well, right now, let's go, let's go back up, raise it. Sweet! Yep. You know, I could do that. Oh yeah, I this could, could this could be uh, you know fun hobby, right? Yes. On people's driveways. Well, thank you, Brian. Thank you. All right, so let's see how many bucket list items I've done today. I've gone sand plowing. I didn't even know that was on my bucket list. Sandboarding. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Didn't know that was the thing, so I get to check that off. And of course, now I'm here finally driving the truck off-road. You may be wondering, what makes the all-terrain different from your run-of-the-mill GMC? And there are a bunch of things. Obviously, a lot of it is an appearance package, so it looks, I think, badass, both in this white and in the black. But most importantly, it's got the Z71 off-road suspension from the Chevy, you know, bigger shocks, it's got a lot more underbody cladding, it's got side steps, and most importantly of all, it's got Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tires, which we've aired down, which should give us some bite. We've also turned off the traction control, the stability control, and the parking assist, so that if we do brush against a bush or something, it doesn't beep. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think we're ready to see how this bad boy does 
in the sand. I've got it in auto. I'm gonna let the truck do its own thing. Tires are aired down. I think we're good to go. Let's give it a shot. heavy truck guys so getting stuck is certainly a possibility but uh, with the way that modern stability systems work and the way that this thing is allocating power I'm hoping that we should have no issues This is the gas version of the heavy duty. So I've got the gas engine and not the a diesel. And probably that's a good thing in the sand because it makes the truck a little bit lighter, not quite as heavy as when you have the diesel under the hood. So we're digging, digging, digging. Oh, oh, we got we got issues here. It's trying. Don't dig yourself in. See the tires really working. And I think we got some bite finally. Here we go. Yes. Voila. And the truck did it. Like I said, combine good suspension with modern tires and plenty of power and this is child's play for a typical truck like this. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fastlane Truck. Check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and of course, sand plowing. Who would have thunk? Sand plowing reviews. See you guys next time. Ciao.